Give me two minutes, and I'll tell you a story. At 80, my father still recalled how traumatic it was to move as a sophomore from his beloved Rocky River, Ohio, five miles away to Lakewood. May as well have been 5,000. He hated being the new kid in that much larger high school. Ironically, his five children would inherit this legacy. We moved often and whimsically, or so it seemed, as we had to constantly adjust to life in new places. By the time I was 16, I had relocated some 20 times. Along the way, I developed a protean-like identity. As I would learn later in life, my adaptations would be shared by countless new kids. I supplanted my own personality just to get along. Actor Kevin Cosner once said in a New York Times profile, reflecting on his nomadic youth, I was thrown into so many situations that I quit trying. I couldn't come on too strong. I didn't want to be too good. I think I lost a lot of confidence in who I was. We new kids knew the drill. Leave the familiar and deal with change and strange surroundings. Cope as best you can. Deal with it, kiddo. Some of us retreated into private worlds where imagination was our constant companion. Some forced smiles and conversation trying to ease the loneliness Some surrendered and just went through the motions. Others reinvented themselves as explorers, moving on to the next town, the next job, the next relationship. As a lifelong member of the New Kid Club, I developed radar and resources to deal with new situations. I tried to share those with my three stepsons when they relocated from bucolic Eugene, Oregon to blue-collar Muncie, Indiana in August 1998. On that first day of classes, as my wife and I dropped them off at their elementary, middle, and high schools, I battled my anxiety, knowing what each of them would go through as the new kids. I hope the lessons we all learned from that experience were more positive than negative, but do we outsiders ever really fit in? Maybe that's why I've always identified with a line from Groucho Marx, I wouldn't want to belong to any club that would have me as a member. This is Mark Massey. Thanks for listening to my new weekly series, Give Me Two Minutes and I'll Tell You a Story. Stay tuned for more entertaining episodes, something to enjoy in these troubled times.